There is one particular thing about a sophisticated American spy plane Lockheed U-2. Different from other military aircraft, this spy plane is able to fly at extremely high altitude and have its pilots look like an astronaut wherever it flies. Pilots flying U-2 have to dress in a special yellow spacesuit. Why is the actual reason behind this? Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. In this episode, we will discuss why the U-2 pilots wear yellow spacesuits. If you are eager to know more, don't go anywhere and stay tuned. The Lockheed U-2, widely known by its nickname Dragon Lady, is an American single-jet engine reconnaissance aircraft managed by the United States Air Force USAF, which flies at high altitude and has the mission of gathering all-weather intelligence throughout the day and night. It was previously flown by the Central Intelligence Agency, CIA. The state-of-the-art spy plane, U-2 was designed to carry the mission of aerial reconnaissance, with duties ranging from collecting imagery, measurement and signature, as well as signals intelligence. It was built to fly at 70,000 feet to avoid being detected by radar or encountering enemy attack. No other aircraft had ever flown as high as the U-2. Due to this reason, the clothing of U-2 pilots is essential to their survival since the spy plane has absolutely different atmospheric conditions when being flown. Pilots flying near the edge of the atmosphere require a unique and custom-fit suit to maintain a normal condition at extreme elevations. Due to constantly being at such high altitude, the cabin of the U-2 plane is pressurized. However, to ensure the safety and security of the pilots, they are still required to wear the customized yellow spacesuit. If the cabin's pressure fails, the spacesuit worn by the pilots will come into play. It will supply sufficient oxygen to the pilots in the occasion of cabin pressure loss. That is why the yellow spacesuit, which makes pilots look like an astronaut, is actually their last line of defense. Initially, the suits were created from a mold, but thanks to the advance of technology, the making of the U-2 spacesuit has now shifted to 3D printing. To measure the pilot's body, laser body scans and 3D anthropometric are utilized. The suit also complemented with a specific helmet which is equipped with a tube connected to the feeding port in order to feed the pilot and help them stay hydrated. It is known that once the suit and the helmet has been worn and locked down, it cannot be put off until the aircraft finishes its journey and lands. The yellow spacesuits are primarily prepared by the Psychological Support Division PSD, of the U.S. Air Force. The crew ensure the suit's readiness, as well as helping the pilot to wear it. Prior to the flight, the pilot is also required to breathe 100% oxygen an hour before the takeoff. This is principally to remove the nitrogen in the blood in order to reduce the risk of sickness made possible by decompression. Because the suit is such an important and expensive equipment, constant inspection is needed to ensure the safety of the pilots who wear them. The PSD crew will inspect the suit one day before the flight and then inspect it again when the pilot wears it and when the pilots sit at the aircraft. They also complete the inspection with a post-flight examination after landing. The thorough inspection also being carried out by David Clark Company, the sole manufacturer of flight suits for U-2 pilots since its first flight. They also put an extra attention in the making of the suit. In producing, each piece of the suit is inspected, tested and retested just as examining the maintenance of an airplane. They also keep on improving the suit to make it lighter and more comfortable. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next episode.